so I've got here to Hereford. Just want to give you a quick walk around the quick walk around the um, uh, the setup. Bit of a mess. I'm not got on top of it yet, so I just want to get me my dinner on. So uh, obviously there we are. I'm the only one in the in the field. Moved my fire over there because the wind's blowing that way. I didn't check the wind before I uh, got set up. Um, so I'll just move around. Outside dining area. Carpet to get in. And then obviously inside the van. Uh, just getting set up to do my cooking and food. I've dropped this seat down which I want to tell you about in a bit. I've got my shelf there out, out the way. Uh, which I want to tell you about as well as a bit of review. But I'm going to get my dinner on. Cheers everyone. Okay, so whilst I'm waiting for my pasta to cook, uh, I just want to just to quickly show you uh, one of the recent upgrades I've bought for the van. Um, so it's actually this, you might have seen it uh, on the video uh, previously, uh, this sits uh, on the front passenger seat, slots into place and it makes a really useful shelf, it's got a couple of cup holders in it so you can put uh, your drinks in it, um, all the bits and bobs on there as well and I've, I've had this for a few weeks now, uh, driving around in the van in my sort of day to day activities and it is super useful and I'm super happy and impressed with it so I just wanted to tell you all about it so it's from a company uh, called Seat Shelf um, and you get a really cool little sticker uh, when you uh, when you purchase one uh, I'll leave all the details below for this um, it's a, it is a, a tight fit, it does take a little bit of getting used to to uh, push it on and off the, the seat when you're ordering them uh, you have to specify so for example this van so I ordered it wrong uh, so for this van I've, I've obviously got the bench seat uh, which is um, obviously reversible uh, so this is a, a different template uh, to what a standard bench seat or, or captain's swivel chair might be so when you are ordering make sure you do order the correct one on their website I'm really impressed with the quality of it um, and the simplicity of it as well uh, and to be fair there's no reason why you couldn't make something similar like this yourself um, but for me I didn't have the time to go and do it I paid 85 quid I think it was for this uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased with it I got it with the blue trim on the side to match uh, obviously the colour of the van um, and yeah there's there's not really much else to say if you don't want the inserts uh, it does come with uh, some like plastic grommet covers which you can put in there so you don't have to have these inserts these are extra you have to pay extra for these so what you actually get when you order it as standard is, is this with the covers that go in there so these are three or four quid extra you have to order them uh, additionally uh, to this so yep yeah, I really would recommend them um, super impressive it um, it can take 16 days for delivery because I think they make them to order so they'll get the order and they'll not one up for you I'll try and uh, show you it tomorrow when I'm driving, uh, obviously in situ at the front as well. So, so yeah, that's that. Seat shelf, thumbs up from me. Uh, I paid for this. They don't know I'm doing this uh, bit of a brief review on it, so I did pay for it. Uh, I probably will tag them into the video as well. So, um, but yeah, I think it's a really good added bonus to the van. Perhaps chat a bit more about it tomorrow. But now, nah, on with my pasta. Make sure it's not boiling over. Okay, so I'm just doing for tonight's meal. I'm just doing some uh, basic pasta, tomato-based pasta, no meat, just some onions and peppers, mushrooms, celery. Um, 
obviously my pasta cooking in there as well uh, this pot I find really useful I use it for when I go wild camping uh, it compresses um, it's got a really good lid on it as well so it can be a bit of a pressure cooker in there it is just for boiling and heat be boiling up uh, water or heating up stews and stuff like that is not for frying um, but yeah I'm really impressed with that oh, you can see it frothing up already when you put the lid on it comes with these perforated holes as well so when you want to drain your food um, you can do that so I'll stick these tomatoes in put all this together and obviously dinner's done right got the pasta the wine and sit outside by the fire there and enjoy it It's something about being out in the, in the countryside. Not quite at one with nature because obviously we've got technology of the van and the leisure battery and the diesel heater and stuff like that that comes with it. But, but there's still something grounding about being out here in the fresh air away from away from your, your you know your troubles and your working life and your problems it's almost I'm not a spiritual kind of person but it's um, it's soothing it's calming it resets the mind it makes you reevaluate what's important and what's not Um, I must say I've been quite unorganised tonight I dropped my pasta, I burnt my fingers I dropped my coffee driving here all over the footwell of the van <laughs> Don't be like Rob <laughs> Just be you I don't think you can see it from here but I hope this does come out on the video With the fire here, I hope you can see me but if I just turn the camera over here, that, that's the moon. So the light on my face is from the pub, which is a bit annoying, but when, when I'm sat down, when I'm sat down where the van is, it's, uh, you're out the light, but I just wanted to show you I want to show you this. Look, oh, moon lot. So hopefully, when the um, when the pub closes and they turn those lights off, if they do, I don't know, then um, we should get some good footage of that moon. I mean, look at that. Look. That's great. Morning everyone. So I just wanted to show you one of my van hacks uh, that makes my life comfortable um, in the van. So we've obviously got the pop top. This section here is obviously the bed for the pop top. Um, and when you're up there, you have this gap here. They have that gap. So what that means is that what that means is that when you're actually uh, sleeping up there, your pillars generally fall down there. Uh, certainly do for me because I'm six foot two. Um, everything just gets pushed that way. So what I did is I made a shelf um, to go in that hole. So it gives more uh, space up there to sleep. But I'll just show you the, the, uh, the other benefit of having that shelf, not only for sleeping, but also you can use it when you're not in pop top mode. Well, when you are in pop top mode, but you're not gonna sleep up there as well. So I'll just show you that as well. Okay, so this is the um, shelf that I made installed. Uh, the same shape, of course, and I've covered it with the, uh, the carpet as well. Nothing fancy, something you can do yourself. So that's the shelf installed, and this is what I use it for. It is exactly as I described it, it's a shelf. So look, 
you can put your baggage up here, your pillars. It's a huge amount of, amount of wasted space that you can't use unless you make a shelf. So I find that very useful. Um, it just makes a lot of crap off the floor and it is super, super useful. Um, so yeah, that's one of the little other van hacks that I have. Okay, so I'm on the GoPro now. My battery ran out on the Canon. So I just wanted to show you another couple of hacks. Um, so uh, pretty much packed away, excuse the state of the van. Um, so, but this is a, a really good idea. Um, have this kind of picnic carpet uh, when, you, when you're on the grass, not on hard standing. Um, just peg it out, peg it out on the corners. Um, it's plastic on the other side and it's uh, obviously cloth on the, on the, on the upside don't have it don't have it underneath the van like that because if it rains it drips onto this and it gets it soaking so just have a have a bit of a gap pull it out i find that that's super useful um keeps the van clean and tidy now obviously we spoke about this before this is the the shelf uh in situ uh it can it's just brilliant um you know it's all it's solid you put lots of stuff on it your phone your charge sunglasses wallet letters uh it does become a bit of a dumping ground but it just frees up the dashboard as well doesn't it so um highly recommend that so that's another hack for you makes life easy and then the next thing i just want to talk about is this seat obviously it's a swivel seat uh when when we got the van it's uh all it did was swivel um, so I've since just literally last week, I've changed this bracket uh, so that the seat sits back by 10 degrees, so it's more comfortable. It's not as upright for passengers, um, so that will help the passengers' comfort. Um, and also, uh, when you unscrew this little lever under there, it will then pivot down. If I can do it one-handed, excuse me. There we go, I just needed two hands. So that will pivot down, look. And it even works with the the shelf there. So, so that will pivot down. So if you want to use the van as a van and use it for long items to go through the uh, length of the van, or equally, if you just set up and you don't want to swivel the chair around, it uh, just becomes a bit of a place for putting stuff on. Gives you easy access to the front as well. Uh, obviously it does work when that's rotated around so um it was an easy installation to do um but i'll uh i'll i'll probably put a photograph you need a special tool i need a special tool to undo three um bolts uh, on the bracket in here it's like a 12 um 12 spined uh torx wrench um so i had to buy that so that was 20 quid and but yeah it's absolute uh, that's absolute game changer that is it's and then obviously it's uh you just push it back up just have to push the make sure the shelf doesn't come down with it secure it like that so it's not going to come undone when you're driving and now that's solid it's not gonna not going to go anywhere so that's it so i'm just gonna get the roof down now uh and then i'm gonna get off um and see me see my buddy so was just about to set off driving and um, but i forgot to mention where i got the bracket from for the seat so um so i got it from vancraft it's obviously a well-known um well-known company um there's uh i'll put a link below to where i got it from but also there's a really good tutorial it's only five minutes long on youtube uh that's worth watching so uh so yeah that's vancraft um and like I say, I'll also try and put a photo up of the that tool that I had to buy as well to fit it. Um, so and that's it. Look, that's Vancraft. That was the uh, leaflet that I got with it. Okay. All right, smashing. <laughs>